first thing off but um today is friday october 18th maybe yeah october 18th i have a, the busiest day unintentionally usually my fridays are pretty chill now that i work part-time in primary care i would say that aesthetics are like not super busy on friday in my short experience that i've had but anyway somehow today has been very very busy today busy day i'm just looking at my schedule um so i started off this morning at eight o'clock i had a fertility specialist appointment i know that sounds kind of crazy it is kind of crazy um not looking to get pregnant right now but essentially i'm going to share a little bit of that journey on tiktok i have been off of birth control for six years and never had anything happen I never like you know, I just, I really just want to check on my fertility because I would ideally love to wait for a couple of years before I had a family, but I just want to know like, what's my egg count? Do I have time to wait, etc. So that was nerve wracking, but that is done for the day. I have a phone call for work at 1030 and then my Botox appointments start at 1125. Okay. I'm writing stuff in my to-do list. So today I have one, two, three, four Botox appointments and an injectable filler appointment at three o'clock. So we will see what that is. And then I have a meeting with my financial advisor at noon that I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to um, reschedule because unfortunately, oh, sorry. Unfortunately, uh, I have a Botox appointment at 11.25 and then 12.15 and I was hoping that I would like get a little bit of time in between, but I, boys, cut it out. But I, I really wanna like sit down and talk to them about some stuff and some investments that I wanna do, so I don't know how that is gonna go. I also would love to get to the gym today. I didn't go this morning because my original fertility appointment was at 8.45 and my phone call was at 10.30. So I was like, I don't really know how much time I'm going to have and I didn't want to get up early. So I don't know. I'm just rambling at this point. But I might be able to go after I do fillers, like just do kind of a Friday afternoon evening workout, which does not sound fun. Anyway, right now, so I'm waiting for my 10.30 phone call. I need to make sure I have everything set up because it's on Google Meet. So I have about an hour and a half for that. My house is a little bit chaotic. We did get our flooring done in our room yesterday. So I'll show that to you guys in a second. Sorry, I'm so, I'm, I'm feeling a little sporadic, like chaotic today. But I, I want to pick up the house a little bit and then get ready for my phone call so that right after the phone call, I can just run over to all of my aesthetic treatments that I'm going to do today. So I'm gonna bring you guys along for a little few days of my life. Hello you guys. I have been very busy today, which I told you guys about earlier. Um, I, what did I do? I had my call, which went really well. That's all I'm gonna say about it <laughs> right now. Um, and then I ran over to do Botox appointments. I did four Botox appointments and then I did one consultation today. And we do free consultations at Goldfingers, uh, which is essentially where you come in. And I typically will ask, what are your top three concerns that I could try to help you fix essentially? And everybody's is different, but um, we'll try to go over the biggest, you know, three concerns and then I will give my advice and I will also give the pricing. And then some people choose to do it that day or like the person that I did the consultation for, she booked for next week. So we do those, which is always nice if you're like nervous, if you just wanna talk about it beforehand and like you're the type of person who like needs to sit with things, which I tend to be that type of person. We can always do that. Um, 
So yeah, if you guys, I don't say this a lot, but if you guys ever want to book with me at Goldfingers Aesthetics in Tampa, you are welcome to. And um, yeah, I need to go to, oh, I also had my call with my financial advisor, so that went smoothly. And I'm actually going to get a coffee. I've been contemplating, should I get this coffee? Should I not get this coffee? I think I want to get something from White Duck because I'm over here and I'm I'm only over here a few days a week and I did a lot of patience today. <laughs> Me justifying getting a coffee. Um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna get it. Or I was thinking about getting the pecan drink from Starbucks because I'm sure that one's like a little bit. You know what, I think I'm gonna get the one from Starbucks. Oh, and then also I was talking to my friend today and she, um, she does aesthetics as well, but she was like, I want jawline and I want cheek filler. Like, will you do it for me? And I was like, hell yeah, girl. Um, so we're going to do that on Sunday and I'll try to see if I can film that for you guys. Cause that'll be fun to see. Uh, I haven't done a lot of jawlines or chin, so it's going to be good practice. And it's just so much like lighter when it's your friend versus like somebody else. <laughs> Got the goods. We got the the non-dairy salted caramel cream cold foam. Extra ice always. And then I got an impossible sandwich just to eat. I'm gonna just like head over to the gym. I'm listening to the um Cheers Avery Woods podcast with Aspen Ovard because of like all the tea. I grew up watching Aspen Ovard. Like she was an icon, a legend, like, and she has always been the moment. I'm going to date. <laughs> yeah. Staying in the awesome. corner. I was like, you good? You good over? But, um, you know, she's getting divorced, and anyway, it's just kind of crazy, and, like, hearing about her life is very interesting, and wishing her the best right now, because I can't imagine getting divorced with, getting divorced in general, but especially getting divorced with three kids, so it's just... I don't know. It's just interesting. She has an interesting take on life. And I really have always appreciated the way that she l takes zero like shits from anybody. She does not care about what people say about her online, or at least she posts the persona that she doesn't care. And I, I really respect that. I'm from the gym and I forgot that I ordered this. I'm doing a series on, well, I post on every Tuesday and Friday on TikTok and on my nursing forum so okay back up back up april we're getting ahead of ourselves every tuesday on tiktok i post a how-to video on how to diagnose and treat something i typically do the how to diagnose and then refer people to my website for the how to treat on my nurse practitioner or app forum that is 4.99 a month and then every Friday, I post a nursing video, something having to do with nursing clinicals, nursing school, whatever. And I also do another video for my nursing forum for like nursing students. And I wanted to level up with um, a microphone. So I just got one from Amazon. These are so cute. Look how cute. And I need to actually sit down and film that video today. So I'm going to figure out how to work these. And then we're going to film it. Uh, the dreaded nursing school clinicals. Let's talk about how to build confidence in nursing school clinicals. How to fake it till you make it because I promise you we have all been there before. Dinner time. Honey, can you turn on the TV? Uh, oh. We are making spicy tofu bowls. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pussy, do you want to be a hot dog or you want to be banana? <laughs> you want to be a hot dog? Okay. You're not gonna like this in two seconds. Ah, stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop. Sit down. Wait. <laughs> He's too fat. I can't close it. <laughs> You can talk. Stop. Put it on a camper. Okay, camper, you want to be hot dog? Sit down, sit down. Stop. <laughs> 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 what this is not what toys do. This <laughs> is not what we do with toys. You got hot dog now. Hold on. 
Who's just like, why is the toy on it? <laughs> you didn't do the back side of it. Dude, that's really mean. They, want, they really want a toy now. I know. I you did, you did get them a toy then. No, I didn't. Can you help them? You always stop it. Yeah, and then looks at me and says, Michael, yes, it is a toy. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Come here. He's, that's it. It is? Oh, shoot. Say, say no. it's your scarf. Make him feel Who's like it's he? a scarf. It's a, it's a scarf, Bubba. It's a Christmas scarf. It's a Christmas scarf. Oh, oh it's so cute. It's a Christmas scarf. Yeah, we're stressed. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Campy. It, it is so hard on. Who's your eating the extra large? <laughs> what the heck, Bubba? You gotta go on a diet. I can't get it. I, oh my god. Okay. What? <laughs> Saturday. I just made myself a latte. Just made a light little breakfast before I'm going to my yoga class this morning. Very weird combos. Probably nobody will like this, but this is toast with a little bit of vegan butter, nutritional yeast, and hot sauce. And then this one has avocados, vegan feta cheese, arugula, spicy honey, and pickled onions. I don't like to eat a lot before my workouts, but I want to have something because it's going to be super hot. This is it. Back from my workout, I wore this set from Set Active. I need to charge my camera so bad. But I am about to just make a few leftovers. I made this last night, spicy tofu bowls with rice, pickled cucumbers, tofu. I'm gonna put some avocado and some pickled onions on it and it's so good, it's one of my favorite meals. And then I put like a spicy mayo. This does not look good, but I promise you it is so yummy. We just pulled up to the pumpkin patch, so let's go get some pumpkins. Huge pumpkin. That would look cute. It's a cost. I'm just trying to figure out how much these pumpkins are. I like how big the these are. I think so, because then I can just do it that way. You like it? Yeah, it's got a good shape. It's got a good face. It's, it's got a good curve. It's a small face. It's got my face. Sure, yeah. Do you like this one more than that one at the end? I just think this one's a medium and I think the other one's a large. They look about the same size. They do look about the same size. I just got home, I got changed into comfy clothes immediately. But those two pumpkins, two pumpkins, $40. I almost choked on my spit. I do not think I'll be going to a pumpkin patch anymore for pumpkins. I think I'll be going to my local Target. But it was a cute experience, just not worth $40. That's it for bagels. And my Birkenstock Set Active socks. These shorts are from Amazon, actually. I think I have them linked. And then this shirt is from, I do not sit down, <laughs> from a flea market in Florida. And 60. They didn't have any yogurts like we usually get, so I had to buy some other ones, but hopefully we like them. They're like, they still have protein in them, but I don't know if you're gonna like them. Okay, I am separating laundry right now. I'm not separating, but I'm putting some laundry in the dryer. I just fell asleep on the couch outside for probably like 20, 30 minutes. Stuff is napping. Um, and like forgot about the laundry and stuff like that so that's what we're doing right now it's really just like the definition of a chill sunday here we went and got bagels this morning ran to trader joe's um the meals i'm gonna be making this week you guys are like so high up i'm so short <laughs> the meals i'm gonna be making this week are chili which i'm gonna make a chili and cornbread tonight which sounds so good i'm so excited for that and then we're also going to make spicy 
tofu bowls, which I've showed you guys those before. It's like the tofu rice and the um, pickled cucumbers. Amazing. I love that meal. And then we're also going to make hot honey pasta again. Seth requested it. It's like his favorite meal. But tonight we're going to make chili and cornbread. And I can't wait. <laughs> I love chili and cornbread. And it's like nice outside here. Don't, it's, I don't know, it's probably like 80 degrees right now. But in the evenings it's getting cooler. So it's around like 60s and it feels like chilly and fall and honestly this is like the perfect sunday for me just like relaxing i've been reading practical magic it's been a long time since i've read a book <laughs> i think the last book that i read was the perfect couple and i read that probably in august so i think it's been a couple of months since i've read a book i am probably 30 pages in but i wanted something like for spooky season and it's all right so far. Like I, I wouldn't recommend it so far, but I'm hoping it gets better and I'm just like really enjoying Sunday. <laughs> so now I have all of this laundry to fold. Yay for me. Changes over here. I moved this bowl to this side since there's greenery there. I was like, let me pull this over to this side. And then I brought those books onto my coffee table. Making chili for dinner tonight. This is my mom's recipe actually growing up. So I will write it out for you guys, but it's really good, simple, easy. I'm using Impossible Burger. Have you tried yours yet? <laughs> Your hat? Mm. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. Some of that cornbread! <laughs> it's cold! <laughs> <laughs> 